Good afternoon. Today I want to talk about Ian Jury, in particular about this uh, maxi single, this 45 inch, with four of his most well known songs. Why do I want to talk about Ian Jury? Well, first of all, because as far as I know, he was one of the few semi well known was because he died already in 2000 uh, from cancer. One of the few well-known disabled artists, uh, Ian Jury suffered from partial paralysis due to polio that he contracted as a child. And secondly, I want to talk about Ian Jury because his period of fame, the period of fame of Ian Jury and the Blockheads, it was basically between 78 and 82. Uh, most of the well, most well-known songs were, are from that period. And as a band, they played a musical style that obviously took elements from the do-it-yourself ethos of punk, but was far more diverse, uh, took far more elements from jazz, from fusion, from ska, from reggae, and was also far more dance floor oriented than was in vogue at the time. Um, in a way, they come close to the uh, later stage of The Clash, even though The Clash al was always far more rock-oriented than Ian Jury and Ian Jury and the Blockheads were. So why did I select this maxi single? Because it contains his most dance floor-oriented work uh, and also, in a way, his most well-known and best songs. Uh, this maxi single has four songs. Uh, reasons to be cheerful, hit, hit me with your rhythm stick, wake up and make love to me, and his most well-known song, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. The one song that I miss on this maxi single is one of his few protest songs. It's called uh, Spasticus Autisticus. The song that he wrote uh, to, to, to protest uh, against the way people in general treated disabled people. It, uh, funnily enough, it was one of the songs that the BBC uh, refused to play at the time, which is kind of funny, knowing that it was actually coming from someone like Ian Jury. Anyway, I think that the, their, the albums that they basically released between 78 and 82 are also very good, but personally, I like this collection of, of, of dance floor oriented songs best uh, and I think it's a perfect starting point for his catalogue. Thank you.